Ganos, how's it going everybody? Let's talk a little bit about surfing in Peru, the history of indigenous people. Uh, the idea of surfing having a cross ties with South America, the Inca, and crossing ties with the Polynesians. So, <laughs> history goes that Peru and Polynesians cross ties that they've uh, cross ties together that they possibly met. I've read this before that the South American Incans and Polynesians cross ties together. <coughs> so, it, so that they would try to use these small boards to travel and to fish. And what uh, somehow, you know, when Europeans came across you know, indigenous people using these woodcrafts, especially like we ones we know as the canoes. But the idea of surfing comes because they're on the ocean. The way they would use from uh, something that I've seen, the indigenous people of South America, the Incas, they would they were known to stand on their boards, and so were the Polynesians, the Hawaiians. Uh, it talks about. And then it later, see, it says, and then the first major surfing on Peruvian beach was in 1930s when Carlo Dogni was invited to Hawaii for a tournament. It was in Hawaii that he met Duke Kanamaku, the founder of modern surfing, who taught him the rudimentary techniques to master the waves. <coughs> So, uh, this is, you could look up surfing in Peru, and you could even just look up the history of surfing, history of surfing, and it talks about crossing ties of the Inca and the Polynesians, and it says the same thing, the practice of riding a vessel with the waves was an Inca civilization around 2,000 years ago. So that's a pretty of using this to travel for fishing and for having fun. It doesn't say it doesn't give a year within the Polynesian origin. Ancient Hawaiians uh and you know this is just like canoes like i was saying you know the europeans they weren't doing stuff like that little uh, interesting stuff that you know took over it became a sport it became modern like i just read and somehow it just became i don't know it's actually really big in south america surfing out here it's uh you know off california i ain't never surfed before i lived in northern california i guess people may surf off frisco but you know it's big in socal the beach is different than norcal we got the coast but i wouldn't mind trying surfing but so that's pretty interesting the inca people have something to do with the idea this is the boat the craft of south america this is what they basically wrote on these, and they would stand on them from a video that I seen. Travel on these, just like this guy's doing. Kneel on it and stand on it. This is in South America. So we have something to do with the indigenous people. That's pretty. I was pretty amazed. Look at that. Bam. He's riding it. That's cool. I was impressed when I learned some history of sport. Of a so what is now called a sport and the background of it. So next sport I want to get to is lacrosse. The history of lacrosse. This is what lacrosse is today.
seen a couple three Caucasian European looking males from Duke and you North Carolina but this is you know this is what even surfing is considered you know the face of surfing these type of guys and but you know that's not the, this is what uh lacrosse is this is who lacrosse came from i wish i played lacrosse i was interested in lacrosse when i seen it too come to my school i was like wow that looks fun and this is how people played people used to play by the hundreds from reading this uh thing about lacrosse they used to play from night to uh sunrise sun up to sundown and they used to have trading goods they used to uh who winner used to you know get keepings they used to trade bargain with it winner loser and the history of me reading this is that europeans they would watch uh indigenous people of i see it started the people of what is northeast america north america new york pennsylvania canada uh th the native americans from a hundred to a thousand men would be playing lasted two to three days straight and different tribes but from what i read the europeans they would watch and they seen it as uh where is it it says they seen it as something that was not good the missionary dang where is it i can't but they stopped it they seen it as them gambling they seen it as man i would but basically that, that they shut it down for a while they weren't letting people play and then this is when it says these guys revived it in 1885 these european guys basically so it says right here in 1756 the mohawk people were now in use of wooden balls and, and let me see i want to get some good stuff for you guys the new sport uh the Canadian descent founded the um, lacrosse club in 1860. Bears confined the game. See, look at that. Oh, man, I see. I can't believe I should have. The history of lacrosse. And see, these guys basically started on why they stopped it. Because they were gambling all night and you know europeans seen that as you know against the ways of they believed so it's interesting how they revived it they put their face on it we didn't rethink of a, this is what we think of you know as lacrosse so understand that where lacrosse came from it started within the mohawk people and and various indigenous tribes of the northeast of north america here's this picture notice this european observing see and when i read about it and then i see i was looking into pictures i was like wow and then you could even visit when you click on these pictures sometimes there's information about pictures given but you know i just wanted to share that information i thought it was very good very interesting stuff that i didn't know uh didn't understand this is how they would play by the hundreds people playing all night here's various lacrosse sticks Tell me, let me know what you guys think. I was impressed to li to find this out, to find out that, you know, this sport, these sports were created by, you know, indigenous people, something, history that I didn't know. I love learning history, inspires me, 
hopefully you guys didn't know this information and like the information you guys play lacrosse like surfing are interested in those sports take a take them on do them try them out lacrosse i would love to do lacrosse because i like football i like you know hitting and being aggressive surfing i wouldn't mind trying and maybe who knows but you know chicanos let me know what you think about this how you feel about these uh sports on you know not understanding not knowing you know who is really creating out here especially with this image they made sure in this painting to put that guy back there i i found that uh pretty interesting right there man <laughs> so you know good looking chicanos <clears throat> you know much love and talk to you guys later peace out leave your thoughts give me a like peace